So let's do a summary of all these laws. We did x raised to a into x raised to b is x raised to a plus b. So quickly, an example, 5 square into 5 raised to 7 is nothing but 5 raised to 2 plus 7, 9. x raised to a upon x raised to b is x raised to a minus b. Say 7 raised to 5 divided by 7 cube is nothing but 7 raised to 5 minus 3, which is 7 squared x raised to a into y raised to a is x y raised to a that is different basis common index say 2 raised to 7 into 3 raised to 7 can be written as 2 into 3 the whole raised to 7. Then you have the power of power rule x raised to a the whole raised to m is x raised to a m which can be written as so let's take this if you take an example 3 square, the whole raised to 5 is not 3 raised to 2 raised to 5. It's 3 raised to 2 into 5, that is 10. And x raised to minus a is 1 upon x raised to a. Say, for example, 3 raised to minus 7 can be written as 1 upon 3 raised to 7. Now, what will be minus 3 raised to minus 7 is going to be minus of 1 upon 3 raised to 7. So there has to be minus in front of it, then it becomes a negative number. Then, of course, this is in simple words, it means that nth root of any number, nth root of a is a raised to 1 by n. For example, um, 7th root of 10 is 10 raised to 1 by 7. And any number raised to 0 is 1. So 3 raised to 0 is 1, 2 raised to 0 is 1, 1 1.5 raised to 0 is 1. So that's a summary of the laws of indices. Now let's see how we can apply these laws that we have learned in very simple examples.